Welcome. This is a presentation on mobile antenna gain by K3YEE. Somebody invented what's called an isotropic radiator, which radiates in all directions, like a sphere. So this is the radiation pattern of an isotropic radiator, which is a fictional thing. But for some reason or other, somebody decided to, to uh, compare the gain of practical antennas to an isotropic radiator. Well, fortunately, they also compare it to the output of a dipole, which we talked about earlier, which is a lot more practical, because if you wanted to compare two antennas, you could put a dipole up there and see how much signal you get five miles away or something, and then substitute another antenna. OK, well, what is antenna gain? Antennas don't make power. I mean, there's a conservation of energy law. All they do is redirect power in different directions. So instead of being this sphere, if I put this on a flat table and, and stick my finger in it, oh, believe it or not, this is approximates the radiation pattern of a quarter wave dipole on a ground plane. There's no radiation below the ground plane. There's no radiation off the top of the pole. And, we, and, and obviously, we've expanded and pushed out some of the radiation in the horizontal direction, but it's omnidirectional all directions. OK, well, it happens that um, the gain of the quarter wave on the dipole uh, relative to this isotropic radiator is 2.15 dB. Somebody measured that. But the gain of this quarter wave relative to the dipole is 0 dB. In other words, same. OK, I've got, um, by the way, this was not my idea. I found it in a many edition old AARL antenna book to use the concept of a balloon to, uh, uh, to, to try to understand the basic of what antenna gain is. Um, all right, I got a few other antennas other than the quarter wave. Um, all right, this is a, one of the, a very common antenna for, for hams. It's two meter half wave uh, 440. Uh, this happens to be a, a Larson, um, and uh, it has one one point sixty. I'm, I'm only going to talk about the two meter gains. Uh, one point six dB uh, relative to the dipole. I'm only going to talk about relative to the dipole because there. All you do is add 2.15 to all the numbers, and you can go back to the isotropic radiator if you want. If for some reason you want to do that, um, so um, let's see. This happens to be a two-meter on glass. There's another half that goes inside, and it happens to be. This is a Larson also, and it happens to be a half wave also. Uh, it's also available for uh, dual band with a, with a loading, with a, there'll be a, a loading coil in the center. So uh, only a 1.6 dB relative to dipole. Um, OK, this, this is the same antenna that, that they've had, which is a straight 5 8 wave single band. But it has 3 dB relative to the dipole. Why? Because it pushed more of the radiation out at a useful lower angle than, than, than some, a lot of it going much higher than useful. So a 5 8 wave is better on your car than a, than a half wave. But if you put this on top of your car and you're driving this garage, you're in big trouble. <laughs> um, 
I have a quarter wave, which is this long, on top of my SUV, and, and it's okay in this garage, but if you've got this and there is no spring, you better stop at the, stop at the gate over there and take it off. In fact, uh, you better, really better do it with this one, too, because there's no spring. The 5 is pretty flexible, but the other one isn't. No. Um, okay. Um, so, uh, you do definitely get, you know, more gain in your mobile if you go to a half wave or a 5 eighths wave. Um, all right, I just got a couple others, and this is not, this is, well, actually, this was a mobile antenna. It was on the front bumper of my car. Uh, this is the quiz. It was a quarter wave. What is it? What band? Seven broadcasters. Oh, no, that's quarter. It's 52 meters. inches long, if that helps anybody. Six, six, six meters. meters. Six meters. Six meters. Six meters. Six meters. Yeah. Six meters. And this used to be on the front bumper. By the way, this is a, I wanted to mention different antenna mounts. This is a 3 8 24 thread per inch thread, which is one of the uh, bases for antennas. Um, this happens to be also a 3 8 24 because uh, this, this antenna is a piece of junk, whatever brand X, I have no idea what it is, but that's a 3 8 24 huh. and there is, uh, there's no, there's no loading coil on, you know, this quarter wave. Um, okay. Half waves, On the 3 24, the uh, other side of, of the dipole doesn't appear at the antenna connector, does it? He's asking, at uh, the 3 8 a quarter wave, uh, the other side of the dipole doesn't appear at the antenna connector. Is that, was that right? Yeah. I don't know what he has. Answer this question for him. Um, I, I don't know. Okay. Is, is, are, is that what you're talking about, William? Because there's not like a center conductor and a ground conductor, it's just a single yeah, like for, a bolt? Yeah. Okay. It, it, they're just a screw that comes, for example, on your Motorola HT, it's got a 24 5. No, it doesn't. It has a center conductor. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, actually, I do know the answer to that. Um, so this has to be on a metal surface, and the ground is attached to one half, to one side of the capacitor. So this forms a capacitor. Just incidentally, and I was going to mention and that, 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 the three inch diameter magnet coupling. provides adequate capacitive coupling to the ground plane for two meters and up. Yeah. Uh, if you should want to run six meter mobiles, I read you need a six inch magnet. Oh, yeah. If you want to run HF, you need to run a ground strap. <laughs> Okay, uh, but just incident, both, both the half wave and the 5 eighths wave got magic coils in place. All right, I got one more, one more trick question. The, the problem with HF, Ken, is that with the running HF in your car with a, a roof mounted antenna, that the road surface you're driving on actually can affect the ground plane because where the propagation goes, it's using I, not just your car, but everything underneath your I car. I would, my, 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 HF antenna was bumper mounted, and uh, in fact, they were. This is well. This is one of them. This is the next question. What band? It's a quarter wave width, quarter wave dipole. That's a ten meters. Ten meters. Ten meters. Ten meters. Uh, could be. Can guess this. Ten what meters. Ten. Yeah. Ten meters. Twenty-eight, something or other megahertz. Uh, and again, it's a three three eight twenty-four. Uh, Base. Now, by the way, uh, these are called NMO mounts. Some antennas uh, actually come with PL259s and uh, 70 centimeter and up. Good antennas come with type N. Thanks so much for taking time to view our video. And thanks to Ken K3YEE for an excellent presentation. For information on future Montgomery Amateur Radio Club activities, please visit our website. Well, bye for now.